This is a steam green light trailer for Temper Tantrum 2. Yet another hit classic from those modern innovators, Digital Homicide. These are the guys who of course say that I stifle innovation and, and here they are of course being innovative by doing the exact same game they did last time with the first Temper Tantrum, only with different pre-built, pre-bought Unity assets. And some of the same ones. They're using the clothed model of Cute Boy 3D and the monsters are the same and the text is the same and even the music appears to be the same and the sound effects are the same. Uh, that's it for the game. Um, that's the third time by Dubai that Temper Tantrum 2 has been on Greenlight. Uh, last week uh, maybe the week before, Digital Homicide uploaded Temper Tantrum 2 and then took it down. And then they re-uploaded it over the weekend while I was at uh, Screw Attack Game Convention and they took it down. And uh, a week later, they popped it back up again. Uh, I don't know why they took it down and uploaded it three times, although, well, looking at the comments that it's received so far, the general reception, it's not been great. Maybe they were hoping to just kind of wipe it a few times to uh, get the, you know, the Jim Sterling's cloned army of harassers away from it. I'm being sarcastic, of course, because I don't condone harassment and you shouldn't harass them. You should criticise them, though, because they put up shit. And that's something I wanted to do with Temper Tantrum 2. You see, I've been running a little experiment, if you will, with Temper Tantrum 2. Uh, because of their attempts to wipe the slate clean several times, the experiment has been delayed. But, well, that's not stopped me. Because, you see, the experiment works no matter how many times Digital Homicide puts a game out. Especially after their continued temper tantrum of their own. You see, the experiment goes as thus. I did not mention temper tantrum when it went up the first time, and it still got slagged off. I didn't mention temper tantrum when it went up a second time, and it still got torn apart by people. This new uh, uh, resurrection, this third attempt to bring temper tantrum back up, well, by the time I finally knew it was back up, by the time I knew the page existed, it had seven pages of people ripping it to shreds. Currently, it's 13 pages of people ripping it to shreds, and I haven't said a word about it. Now, this is interesting because, though, the last time Digital Homicide and myself spoke, they accused me of sending all these people to their games, of... of, of Putting, the, putting promotion out there for Digital Homicide's titles uh, just so that people could unfairly rip it apart and, 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 and criticise them and attack them and, and harass them and whatever. But this time, I sat back. I sat back for the first iteration, for the second iteration, and for this third iteration of the page. And it's 13 pages. Do you know how many people contacted me trying to get me to cover it? A lot. A lot. Because that's how this thing generally works. You see, I don't find things uh, to just to torment people. I cover things I stumble on, and a lot of the time, my own uh, audience stumbles on it for me and lets me know. Uh, and, and I just thought it was interesting that, that we'd sit back, see what happened with Temper Tantrum 2, without any input whatsoever from yours truly, and yet... Here we are, people invoking my name, uh, people taking it upon themselves to do very long, detailed criticism of Digital Homicide's work, people in general just letting them know what utter, utter hacks they are, that they've just, again, in less than a year, brought out a sequel. And it's not like Five Nights at Freddy's where Scott Cawthon at least genuinely tries to shake up the formula every time, you know, actually tries to be innovative, whether you agree with what he does or not. This is j literally just the same fucking thing. Just a sequel flip, if you will, as well as uh, your usual asset flip. In less than a year and a half, Digital Homicide has put five games on Steam. Where most small studios work for years to craft a brilliant, wonderful, original title, Digital Homicide have put together a game. Several times over, five times over, 
and put it on Steam, and they claim they work hard. Now, at that SGC this past weekend, I spoke to several developers. I spoke to Unity developers. I've spoken with Unity programmers who say that Digital Homicide, that Robert from Digital Homicide is full of shit when he talks about how much work he does, how much original code he does. Full of shit. And you can see the results already and know that he's full of shit. Because five games up on Steam in, in, in less than two years, and that's not including the Steam Greenlight hopeful Six Nights at Suzy's and Temper Tantrum 2. That's seven game projects they've been working on in less than a year and a half. And you act like I'm stifling innovation, like I'm unfairly criticizing your products, like I'm fucking, like I'm the, the, the hack here. No, no. Seven games in a year and a half. Fucking sort yourselves out.